What's up, YouTube? I wanted to make this video because uh, I was thinking of some ideas of vids and stuff. And a lot of you have mentioned that you guys like hearing stories from me. And some of my stories are fucking hilarious. So I figured I'd uh, do a little storytelling today. It's just going to be a simple ass video. Ain't, ain't nothing elaborate. So, for some reason, I don't know why this story has just been popping in my head for the past week. But basically, I'm going to title this story, When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong. You know how David Chappelle did that little skit? Well, here, here's, a, here's an example of some dickheads that tried to keep it real, but it went wrong. <laughs> this has nothing to do with like me trying to keep it real. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Whenever I keep it real, it never goes wrong. <laughs> but let me tell you this story, man. This happened when I was 19. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was I was like 19 years old. Um, I think it was like back in like 04 or something, some shit like that. So, what had happened was I was with one of my boys, and he was with one of his boys. So, you know, I'm not gonna say my boys' names for certain reasons. So I'll, I'll give them, I'll I'll make up names for him. So my boy, we'll call him L, and his boy, we'll call him. K, alright, so my boy L, um, I, you know, we were like, hey man, let's go to the mall, so, you know, he's like, alright, so he brought, he brought his boy K, and I was driving, so we went up to the mall, you know, typical, what do you do when you're 19, you just window shop and shit, you just go around and hang out in the mall, right, so, <laughs> on our way back, we had to go through, like, a JCPenney to get to the parking lot, but right when we were about to head into the JCPenney, we're walking up there, and I guess we passed by like a bench with all these dudes like chilling. There was a whole group of dudes, it's like eight, eight to ten guys, like a huge ass group, dude. And I guess one of them said something. I don't know what. I didn't, re I didn't hear it. But my boy L, he heard it, right? And supposedly somebody called him, somebody called him a bitch. And but he told his boy K, he was like, "Hey man, he called you a bitch." Now. <laughs> His boy K is fucking crazy. I was like, K for crazy, alright? Look, now we're all Spanish. I'm Latino. My boy L, he's Latino, but he's like real dark, so he, he can probably pass for black. And then his boy K is Latino. Now his boy K, this is this is what I say. This, let me let me let me tell you this right now. Don't judge a book by its cover. Because my man, my boy K, was like a short, stocky Spanish dude. I'm talking about he was stocky, but this dude had heart. He had the biggest attitude. He could fight, and he was all about it. So, when my boy L told him that somebody from that group called him a bitch, he went up to that whole group, and he was like, "What? Who the fuck said that? What'd y'all say?" And then, I, I don't know, I guess those guys, they weren't expecting them to come at, you know, they probably thought, oh, look at this short Latino guy. Fuck this dude, we're gonna call him a bitch. You know, he ain't gonna say shit. Oh, did he not say shit? He went up to him and he, my, my boy K was like, who the fuck said that? And these guys sitting on the bench, they were like, man, fuck you, man, get out of here. And my boy was like, what? What'd you say? I was like, alright, man, fuck this, we're going outside right now. All of you, outside, right now. <laughs> I'm like, in my mind, dude, I'm not, I'm not the type to start shit. But in my mind, I'm like... Thank you, K, for freaking, you're about to get me killed. You know what I'm saying? The last thing I was able to do was window shop. Thank you very much. That's, all, that's the last thing I was able to do <laughs> you know, before I die. So in my mind, I'm like thinking, fuck, man, I ain't say nothing, you know. I'm, I'm not going to be a bitch. So as we're walking through the JCPenney, you know, I'm just like, fuck, dude. And my boy K, he's like, fuck this. You know, he's taking off his chain as he's walking out. And all the other guys are actually following us. You know, they're kind of like a little ways away, but they're following. And I'm thinking in my head, shit, dude, there's three of us and there's ten of them. Are you fucking kidding me? But it's funny because I'm walking through J.C. Penny. I hear like an old 80s song I haven't heard in a while. I'm like, oh, damn, that song is fucking sick. I'm going to look this up on Napster. And then I was like, oh, fuck, I'm about to die. So we went outside, right? <laughs> so we went outside. And my boy was like, all right, let's do this. Who said that shit? I'm about to, I'm about to rock you. Let's do this. And so all, all ten of them were right there, right? And they're all just standing there. And uh, actually, one of them, one of them was like, uh, he was like a short, he was like a shorter guy. He came up to, he came up to us, and he went up to my boys like, "Hey, man, look, 
I ain't a part of this. I'm not down with this shit, so I'm gonna sit over here. So his smart ass decided not to get into this, and his ass just sat over there in some bench while the other nine of them were staring. And so my, my, my boy Ralph was like, man, why the fuck you call me a bitch? And one of them was like, man, we ain't called you a bitch. We called your boy a bitch. And he pointed at my boy L. And my boy L was like, why you call me a bitch? <laughs> and the dude was like, because you a bitch. <laughs> Dude, I was quiet the whole time. I'm just standing there, you know, right next to my boy. I'm just like, and uh, my boy was like, "What, man? You, you, my boy, my boy kid was like, man, fuck all y'all, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all already do this. Come on, what the hell's up with y'all?" And my boy was like, "Man, fuck all, fuck all." And you know, they're all like, "Fuck all of you, right?" And um, uh, what else happened? Um, so as we're standing there, I guess one of our boys, another guy, another guy we knew from around the neighborhood, he came. He was walking with his girl, and he saw us that we. You know, there was nine of us, nine of them against like ten of us or three of us. So he was like, "Dude, he was ready to throw down." He saw we were in trouble, and he he came to the rescue. He was like, "Oh fuck that! Who the y'all fuck all my boys? Fuck y'all motherfuckers!" <laughs> so he, he's about ready to fight too. And he's Latino too, and uh, and you know, I guess these guys they're trying to keep it real. They, they nine of them, and they, all these guys were bigger than us. Nine of these dudes. They were getting shook, and I, I, dude, I was so fucking scared, I'm not gonna lie, man, I was scared, I wasn't, you know, like, if something went down, my boys were getting asked me, of course I'm gonna jump in, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna stand there, I'm not gonna run, I'm not a bitch, so, you know, th these guys were like, you know what, fuck all y'all, and then, he, and then one of the dudes pointed at me, he was like, you know what, you can leave, dude, you're cool as hell, cause you haven't said anything, so you can leave, and I'm just like, standing there like, I'm like, I'm not gonna leave, what am I gonna do, just walk, walk away, leave my friends here, yeah, right, so, in the end, these dudes are just standing there, not doing anything. While my boys are trying to fight them, you know, like I was, you know, my boys aren't just gonna go and stick them, you know. They're they're ready to fight. Like these guys know how to fight. And then one of the dudes, like it's the main guy, he's wearing like a LeBron James jersey, and I, he, he, I think he was the one that called my boy a bitch. He was like, you know what, man? Man, fuck all this for real. Where the weed at? <laughs> My boy, my boy K was like, what? Where the weed at? Man, fuck you, dude. It's like, y'all a bunch of dicks, pussies. Man, y'all ain't even worth my time. And we just turned around and walked, man. We walked away. We walked back to my car and we drove away. And these bums were just like standing there and y'all spread out and left. Fucking bums. When keeping it real goes bad, dude. That's what happens when you fucking open your mouth. You gotta get your ass kicked by some small, stocky Latino guy that doesn't take shit from nobody. So, more of, more of the story, don't judge a book by its cover. Stop talking that shit. <laughs> and if you're gonna talk that shit, back it up, even if you have 10 of your boys with you. And yeah, another one to shut the fuck up. So, I, let, I, I, want, I guess I'm thinking about the story a lot because... You know, there's a lot of haters on the internet. You know how they talk a lot of shit. You know what I mean? But if they were really at me or my boys, they wouldn't say a damn thing. You know what we call those motherfuckers? We call them faceless keyboard warriors. Because they know damn well they're hiding behind their keyboards. And they, are, they feel so safe that they can say whatever the fuck they want and not get a damn thing, you know, happen to them. When in reality, you really can track somebody by their IP, IP address. Like, if you're really into that shit and you really want to fuck these motherfuckers up and really find them, you can find them, dude. Me, I don't give a fuck, honestly. I don't got time to deal with these little Bamas behind their uh, computers thinking they're the shit. Because I already know damn well that if they were they, if they were face-to-face -face with me, they wouldn't say a damn thing. And if they did, they get their ass rocked, dude. I swear to you, dude. And not just by me. I'm talking about, dude, I know some... Crazy people, dude. Like, uh, people. I mean, these people, man. I don't, honestly, a lot of my, a lot of my boys from back in the day, from high school. I don't even know where they're at now. They're, they're going nowhere. They're going nowhere fast. You know, the majority of them, and have them. I don't even talk to them like that because, I mean, they really going nowhere, man. Like, you don't want to be hanging around. They're, they're cool when you're in high school, and they can back you up. <laughs> it's good to know those type of people because then you know people won't be messing with you. But after high school, and you start seeing that they really ain't doing nothing with them, man. Not to say you should, you should, like, completely diss them. Nah, man. I'm just saying, like, you really don't want to... You don't want to be around too much. But anyways, that was my story. So, I already told you the morals. I already told you what you gotta do. So all you gotta do is just not talk shit. 
Don't judge people by the way they look, because they could be the smallest motherfucker on the planet, and they will still come up to you and still rock you all day. So, that's it, guys. Hopefully you like that story. Once again, thanks for watching. Peace out.